a lake so toxic it can burn flesh, and so beautiful that it glows blood red beneath the African sun. Let's open the globe. You're in map mines. In northern Tanzania lies a lake that looks like a wound carved into the earth, a sheet of liquid fire shimmering beneath the African sun. This is Lake Natron, the lake that bleeds red. Its waters can scald at 60 degrees and sting with a pH so high it could burn skin. What paints it crimson isn't blood but life. Tiny halophilic microbes, which means salt-loving, microorganisms such as halobacterium and the microalga Dunaliella salina. They thrive where almost nothing else can, producing red pigments to shield themselves from the fierce equatorial light. The more the sun evaporates the lake, the deeper the color. From rose, to ruby, to scarlet. For years, people whispered that anything touching natron turns to stone. A popular misconception spread online, after photographs were mistaken for proof instead of art. In truth, the lake's minerals only coat creatures that fall into it, preserving them like eerie sculptures. Photographer Nick Brandt captured these petrified remains, their stillness unsettling, a metaphor, not a miracle. And yet, amid this fiery stillness, life blooms in pink feathers. Thousands of flamingos arrive to nest, finding safety in the burning shallows where predators dare not tread. The lake's caustic waters form a natural moat, protecting their eggs on tiny islands of salt and mud. They dance across the mirror of salt, a living reflection of the red world beneath them. Lake Natron, a place where death's colors become a cradle for life, a wound that breathes, a paradox painted in salt and fire. In map mines, every place on the map is a doorway to stories waiting to be uncovered, and today, we uncovered one of them. Tomorrow, where shall our globe take us next?